My mother never left the country. She was scared to get on a boat, plane. We took her for her first boat ride, which was the Norfolk Broads, and she never went again. We used to go on holiday with our aunt and uncle, um, two weeks a year, every year to the same place. But I'd always got this interest in sort of reaching out a little bit farther. I remember at school when other people were doing their projects about ponies and trees and things, mine were always about the Incas or things sort of far away, far away countries, tropical fish. It was never about things near to home. I was always interested in the exotic. <laughs> Well, I came to uh, London to do my first degree. I came from a very small town in the Midlands, uh, so coming to London was freedom. He'd just come to London from India uh, for a job, and uh, we'd got digs in the same place in Belsize Park. And uh, we met over a game of Scrabble in one of our mutual friends' rooms. A few days later, I said there was a knock on my room door, and he asked me out. We got married twice. We got married in England uh, and then we got married in India as well. And we went from our wedding in England to uh, the airport. And when we got to India, it was actually the morning of our wedding in India. And it was just so strange because I'd never been anywhere that exotic before. Uh, there were all the ceremonies which were completely new to me, a different language. Uh, lots of people around, different clothes. It was just something completely different outside my experience. We've just got back from a trip to Ecuador and Galapagos. Uh, in a couple of months' time, we're planning our trip, or we're going on a trip uh, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean, Mexico, and up the East Coast. At our Ruby wedding anniversary, our middle son gave a speech and he said that um, he'd got so much to thank us for and one of the main things to thank us for was taking him on all the travels which has developed his sort of love of travelling. I think you should never stop learning. I think that's what I've thought all through life, that you've got to keep doing new things. You've got to expand your mind all the time. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.